And next we have Jennifer Scott. Jennifer, why don't you tell us what your life was like before Christ? Before Christ, I was a very angry person and filled with fear, doubt, and self-pity. I was constantly seeking avenues of filling the hole in me that only Jesus could fill. I was very promiscuous, hateful, bitter, controlling, and plagued with addictions. I believed abortion was okay and a reasonable form of birth control. I started drinking and using drugs when I was 14. It began with marijuana and ended with smoking crack cocaine and intravenous drug use. I was a slave to darkness. And Jennifer, what is the gospel and how did you come to believe it? The gospel is the good news that we have salvation through Jesus Christ. God came down in the form of a sinless man, Jesus, and poured out his wrath onto him that he might spare us eternity in hell if only we believe that he is the Son of God, the King of kings, Lord of lords, and the truth, the way, and the life. I grew up going to church, but I wasn't saved. I dabbled in other religions. Religions. Jesus continued to pursue me. When my son's father illegally took him to Mexico without my consent, I was so broken, and I began going to church again. I volunteered at the Pregnancy Care Center in Toronto, and when I got home from an all-day seminar, I fell to my knees and knew that Jesus was real and that he was healing me. I wept with gratitude. That was in 2015. And Jennifer, what has Christ done in your life since then? <clears throat> Since becoming a Christian, how I dress has changed, how I talk, who I hang out with, basically everything. But most of all, I am not crippled by fear anymore. Even though I have backslidden, Jesus never stopped his pursuit of me. He literally left the 99 to save the one. He has saved me again and again and again. Most recently, I was smoking and shooting seven grams of cocaine a day, and my son asked me to come to a prayer meeting at Trinity. In my small group, I asked for prayer to help me stop. I left a comment on one of Pastor Jacob's sermons on YouTube. Pastor Jacob took the time to find out who I was and tracked me down and called me to pray for me and to encourage me to keep coming to church. I did. I went down for prayer one morning and elders Dean and Harvey prayed for me. The next day I got a phone call that there was an upcoming bed available at a sober living house in Cambridge. I kept coming to Trinity in the meantime. I've been clean and sober now for over seven months, moved into my own apartment, and the body of Christ here at Trinity has helped me with furniture and other blessings. None of these things would have happened if Trinity closed its doors and was solely online. I know for a fact that I'd be dead right now if God had not used this church in my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And why do you want to be baptized here today? I want to be baptized today in obedience to Christ. I was baptized in 2006, but I wasn't saved. I just thought it was something I was supposed to do, and I did so as an act of following a guy I was dating who was also getting baptized. Over the last few months, the Holy Spirit has convicted me to be baptized as a true believer. The word says, believe and be baptized. Amen. Well, Jennifer, because of your profession of faith and your desire to be baptized here this morning, it's my absolute privilege and joy to baptize you now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.